Now let us see the differences between synchronous counters and asynchronous counters. Totally we have six differences. The first two differences is based on the diagram. Second one clocking, third one speed, fourth one complexity, fifth one power and the sixth one is applications. First let us see the diagram. Uh, counter is also a collection of flip flops just like a resistor. Here we have three flip flops. Uh, this is nothing but clock pulse. Synchronous counter means same clock pulse will be applied on all the flip flops simultaneously. Whereas a synchronous counter means we have to apply a clock pulse to the first flip flop. Uh, this Q represents output of the first flip flop. Output of the first flip flop will be connected as clock pulse to the second flip flop. So this is nothing but clock pulse. Likewise this Q is nothing but output of the second flip flop. Output of the second flip flop will be connected as clock pulse to the third flip flop and so on. Let us see the second difference that is clocking. Clocking is nothing but uh, clock pulse or uh, clock signal. All the flip flops are clocked simultaneously by the same clock pulse. So here synchronous counter means we have to apply same clock pulse on all the flip flops simultaneously. So all the flip flops change the state simultaneously with the same clock pulse. So if we apply same clock pulse on all the flip flops then what will happen? The state change will also done simultaneously. Whereas let us see the clocking of asynchronous counter. Asynchronous counter means output of one flip flop will be connected as clock pulse to the next flip flop. This counter is called asynchronous counter because the flip flops are not driven by the same clock signal. So here we are not applying same clock pulse on all the flip flops simultaneously. So that's why we are saying that this is a synchronous counter. So all the flip flops are not driven by the same clock signal simultaneously. And hence do not change the state simultaneously. So here uh, uh, it does not produce all the states simultaneously. There will be some delay. Next let us see the next difference that is speed. Synchronous counters are faster than asynchronous counters. Why because same clock pulse will be applied on all the flip flops simultaneously. So we can say that synchronous counters are very very faster when compared with asynchronous counters. Whereas asynchronous counters are slower than synchronous counter. Why because an external clock pulse will be applied to the first flip flop. Output of uh, this flip flop will be connected as clock pulse to the second flip flop. Output of this flip flop will be connected as the clock pulse to the next flip flop. So we can say that the speed is slower. Why because there is some propagation delay. There is some delay between these two. There is some delay between these two. So that is why we can say that asynchronous counters are slower whereas synchronous counters are faster. And the next one is based upon the complexity. The design and implementation of synchronous counter is complex. Why? Because they require additional logic to ensure that all the states must change simultaneously. Here we are applying same clock pulse on all the flip flops simultaneously. So they will also changes the states simultaneously. So in order to ensure that logic we require some more hardware. So we can say that the design and implementation of synchronous counter is complex when compared with asynchronous counter. Whereas coming to the complexity of the asynchronous counter here the design and implementation is simpler when compared with synchronous counters. Why because what is synchronous when compared with synchronous counters? So why because what is a asynchronous counter? Here we are not applying the same clock pulse. Output of one flip flop 
will be connected as clock will, clock pulse to the second flip flop output of the second flip flop will be connected as the clock pulse to the third flip flop so likewise so here they they don't change the state simultaneously so we can say that here the design and implementation that complexity is that complexity is very very simple why because we have some delay so there is no problem even if we have delay but here it is very very faster one next the fifth one is based upon the power consumption so here it requires more power consumption why because we have to apply same clock pulse on all the flip flops simultaneously as well as they 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 can produce they can change the states simultaneously so in order to ensure that we require more design and implementation the complexity is more we require more hardware design so we can say that it also requires more power consumption whereas coming to the power consumption of the asynchronous counter it requires less power consumption why because if we have delays then there is no problem here okay so there is no need of any extra hardware next coming to the applications synchronous counters are mainly useful in the applications where the timing is critical why because here all the flip flops has to change the state simultaneously so that timing is very very important such as digital clocks so mainly we use synchronous counters in uh, digital clocks so we have digital clocks in acs uh, next uh, uh, next microwave ovens next washing machines so there we will use uh, synchronous counters here the timing is very very critical whereas here the timing is not critical here we have some delays even if we have delays then there is no problem here so if we have some signed some time delay and if we want to perform some basic uh, uh, counting operations there we use uh, asynchronous counters so this is about uh, the differences between synchronous and asynchronous counters in the upcoming videos we will see several examples based on the synchronous and uh, asynchronous counters